Hi guys, Ryu here with Naritude for Blender and this one's gonna be a very very special one this year. We have uh, Decal Machine 2.0 dropping today and it's bloody amazing. Uh, we had a chance to play with it and it's insane what you can do with it. The Immersive Decals, Atlas Maps, Trim sheets is gonna be a game changer for gaming industry. It's just gonna revolutionize everything. It's it's incredible. If you ever try to do Atlas Mask by hand, you know what I'm talking about. It's automated, it's too good to be true, and it's true. So let's go. Now, first of all, before you get into Decal Machine 2.0, by the way, update to 2.0 is free. So if you do have 1.94 on the previous versions, you can simply go to your, to the page where you bought it, like Blender Market or Gumroad, and download it. If you don't have Decal Machine, this is the best time to buy it now. And if you want to get it, I have links to the machine store in the video description. So you can go to either Gumroad or Blender Market and get them there. So it doesn't cost you anything and you're going to support um, machine and myself at the same time. Um, so, you know, get it because it's just too good. I'm telling you, it's too good. So let's see how you properly uninstall and install Dika Machine. So first you need to uninstall 1.9, right? So in my case, it's going to be 1.94. And then I'm going to install Decal Machine 2.0. And then I will show you how to update your Decal libraries that you have currently to the version 2.0, right? So let's get on with it. So let's go to Preferences and find Decal Machine, right? Right here, I have Decal Machine uh, 1.94. And the first thing you need to do is uncheck this box. Then you need to save preferences, close this window, close Blender, right? And run it again. And now, second thing you need to do is go to preferences, right? Go to Decal Machine again. And then you need to remove it from the drive. I mean, from the folder, add-on folder, save preferences and close Blender and run it again, right? Now what you do is you download Decal Machine 2.0 from the store. You have it in a zip file and now you can actually install it. So you go to uh, Edit, Preferences and now in Decal Machine, in uh, Blender 2.9, the cool thing about it is that when you go to uh, your whatever like C drive of a desktop, you can actually access shortcut folders, which is brilliant because 2.83 didn't have it and it was driving me nuts. So I'm just going to go to my add-ons and go to Decal Machine 2.0. You might have a different version because it's a pre-release version. So uh, you install it as any other you know, add-on and click on this mark here, save preferences and you're good to go now. When you start to decal machine, you will notice a few things. There are a few more um, options in here. For example, uh, you have, you know, trim cut and then you have um, stuff relating to um, uh, under adjust, you got new options. OK, under a match, you have new options because you need to have stuff for um, emissive decals, right? And also we got Atlas map options, so this uh, the whole panel changed. But before we do anything, right, before we do anything, we need to update our Decal library because the Decal library 1.9 will not work with Decal library 2.0 out of the box. Okay, you need to update your library for Decal Machine 2.0, which will update the nodes uh, and shader setup. So we need to do it first. So let me show you how it's done, okay? I'm going to be uploading to updating my default location, but the location, you know, you can change the location of the folder in which you store your decals. And also the name of the folder is a little bit different. That's also something that you should note. So in the decal machine 1.9, right, the folder name. So when I go here to my folder, okay, let me expand this. It ends with assets, right? In decal machine 1.9, it ends with decals. So assets is a folder that actually contains more than just decals, right? So if I go to the folder, um, which is uh, the, in the default location of 2.9. So let me show you this very quickly. Uh, Add-ons, decal, mach decal machine and assets. You see under assets now you got atlases, create decals, export and trims. So decals is like a folder within a folder, right? So you link it to assets. So if you want to create a 
custom folder for 2.0 and let's say you want to use it across different blenders so the all the decals are stored and atlas maps and trim sheets are stored in one location remember that the folder name has to be assets okay not decals because that's you know one step too deep yeah so now let's talk about how to update your libraries so when you go to end panel and you go to machine panel you can see that the menu here changed a bit okay it's a little bit more well complicated because there are more options so first of all here you got decal creation and under decal as well you got atlas trim sheets so these are the new ones and also you can notice here that you have bake emission and bake bounce these are the new uh, options for emissive decals and emissive decals such as bloody brilliant Together with Josh, we're releasing today a free decal pack with emissions, 20 emissive decal packs. They're in Gumroad and Blender Market, so if you want to grab them, go ahead. They're going to be under Blender Bros. Links in the description. They're amazing, and you know they're free, to, free for grabs. So if you want to play with emissive decals today, that's your best chance. You do have some emissive decal coming, uh, ca coming with the decal machine 2.0. Machine um, adjusted a few decals in this uh, example pack. And a few of them are there, you can see them under the light bulb. So um, you got two of them, right? But we created a whole pack of fresh new decals, sci-fi decals with emiss with emissions baked at ma maximum resolution and um, so 20, uh, 1024 and for uh, anti-aliasing. They're really high quality, beautiful uh, decals for your project. So anyway, let's get on with it. So the thing you need to do is you need to update the decal library, okay? So how do you do this? You go here under this option and you can see you have an update decals window in here. So first of all, you need to load the library that you want to update from your 1.9 library. So you want to update it in here because you load it in here uh, from your hard drive. So in my case, it's going to be somewhere here under decals. And let's say that I'm going to update, uh, well, um, let me see, th this one, okay, the free sci-fi decal pack that I've created. So I accept it and accept it. And now you have, you see, um, this is loaded in. Now what you need to do is create a library for your 2.0. So you need to go to Edit Preferences, go here to this window and create a library for it. So 20 freeze. I'm just going to call it like this, okay? and enter now refresh okay and save preferences right now when you go to your d uh, menu you can see that we have a new library created for 2.0 now we need to update them so we need to update this uh, this folder to our new folder right you can also update in place meaning that you can load all your decals the one uh, 1.9 decals into your asset decal folder and update them in place meaning uh, you don't have to upload them from the old folder but i like to keep backups so i like to you know load it from the old folder and create them in a new folder and another option is that you can keep thumbnails so for example if you have like custom thumbnails select this one is going to keep your own old thumbnails i want to create new ones so and now all you do is just click this update decal library it's going to take a few seconds and and now you can use our new decals and there you go and that's how you update decals from 1.9 to 2.0 you need to do it for every single lab in my case you know it took me like several hours actually because i have so many decals but um uh, you want to do it you know when you know update your libraries and if you want to create emissive decals I will be covering this in a separate video and I'll show you everything you need to know about how to create emissive decals with Decal Machine. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video and as usual, give us a like and sub if you did enjoy the video and also, like I said, links to Decal Machine, Mesh Machine, Hard Ops and Box Cutter in the video description. So if you're interested in buying these add-ons, go through the affiliate links, you're gonna help me as well. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.